Uh, chaps, welcome back. Uh, Matt, how pleased are you to be starting uh, the European Championship campaigns again with Ireland? Yeah, very pleased to be back. Um, atmosphere, the atmosphere is good. Obviously, I know Mick from, from being at, and TC from being at Wolves. And, um, yeah, I mean, ever since we've come back, everybody seems happy and training's been, training's been quite enjoyable and it's been fun. Let's say it was a difficult year for everybody, you especially in 2018 internationally-wise. Are you keen to draw a line under it and move on? Yeah, of course. Obviously, it's a new manager now, new campaign, kind of new kind of era. Um, so kind of just put the past in the past and, and move forward and, and see if we can get some positive results in uh, 2019. Do you feel you're playing as well as you've ever played? Yeah, I mean, club-wise, yeah, for sure. Um, I'm having a pretty good season. Uh, the team I'm playing in is obviously having a great season also, semi-final of the FA Cup and 7th in the league. Um, can't really ask for much more than that and the brand of football that we're playing is, is quite attractive. Um, so for me personally on a stats level and, and all that, I am having the season of my life considering the, the league that we're in now. How do you think you can replicate your club form at international level? Is it as much about the, the the way the team is set up as anything yeah obviously it's going to be it's going to be a bit differently how we play compared to, to club football but I mean I'm just going to have to if I play I'm going to have to adapt to, to how the manager wants me to play um, I mean if he wants me to play a certain way I should be able to be good enough to to change my game to, to suit the team um, but I have to play first so we'll have to see some suggestion you might play right hand side of midfield obviously you're not going to tell us whether you are but when was the last time you did play right hand side of midfield um, I haven't played like on a flat four on the right hand side for a, for a long time but I mean the position that I play now at Wolves I am on the right hand side on my own quite often it will still be different if that was the case um, but it's something that I'm comfortable with Alan it's been a difficult year 18 months for you hasn't it injury wise do you feel you're over it now and and Back to your best fitness wise? Uh, yeah, if you would have said a few months ago, I would have been in this position. Maybe not. You know, I went out I went out and played football and I'm really enjoying it at the minute, just playing every minute of every game. I feel I'm not far off to where I was before. You felt you had to move from Brentford, did you, to get regular minutes? Yeah, definitely. Look, I had um, a hard two, you could even say two and a half years. I got back fit and then I'm sitting on the bench, you know, it's just the way it goes. And uh, the chance came up to go to Ipswich and play every week. And there's no way I was going to turn that down. Is it slightly strange for the squad to be starting a campaign in March as opposed to September? Um, I'm not, not really sure. You know, the good thing is that all the lads are fit. You know, we've got plenty of games under our belt. And, uh, you know, we've got everybody in here really raring to go and wanting to, you know, play minutes if they can. Thanks very much. Nice, good to be back with uh, Nick again. Good to hook up with him again. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, we had a good relationship when I was at Wolves. Um, I, I, I keep adding TC also because he was there and we, we had a good relationship. Um, so I don't see why that would be, be any different now. We've started off on the right foot and things seem to be going pretty well. Mm. How would you compare this setup with Mick compared to the, the previous setup? Is there more, in terms of coaching, is more clarity in terms of setup, etc.? Well, we've only been in a couple of days, so I mean, some of the lads had secondary recoveries. Um, mo well, most of the lads have had secondary recoveries. Um, but I guess we'll probably maybe see more leading into the game in the next few days. Um, at the moment, we've kind of just been getting us getting ourselves into the session and uh, playing a few games, um, which has been good. So maybe maybe in a few more days, I'll uh, be able to have a better answer. Yeah, and you touched on it earlier. Do you feel that this is a clean slate for you now and a, and a proper opportunity for you to, to stake a claim in, in, in this team? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, every opportunity. The last, the last camp I was in um, was still an opportunity for me. I still, I still started the two games there. So, um, I guess now that the, ma the manager is someone that I've worked with before, and we obviously have a good relationship, things might might be a little bit different. But um, it's not, it's not a guarantee that there will be. You started two games. Do you think you could have started more games in the previous campaign? Do you think? Um, well, I'd like to. Th I'd like to say think so personally. Um, but I obviously don't pick the team, and and it didn't work out for me for for whatever reason. Um, and hopefully, hopefully that will be the that will be different now. You've no idea why it didn't work out for for you, uh, as you said in the previous campaign, do you? <laughs> um, no, I've no no idea why. Just uh, just just never played. Uh, it's it's not the end not the end of the world. I guess it's always the manager's decision to. To pick, to pick the team and um, oh, we, there was obviously players playing so you got respect you got respect uh, the 11 that go out and Alan for you horrible last uh, while really with, with injuries must be great to be back in this in the squad 
Yeah, as I said, just playing football. I'm enjoying every minute of it, you know. As I said, the last two, three years haven't been the easiest. Um, but I've gone, just enjoyed my football. I know we're bottom of the league, I've switched, but, you know, I just I enjoy every minute at the moment. And uh, I feel that's the reason why I've got myself back in here. And I'm starting to show what I've what I done before. I'm just a goal, I feel, away from getting to that form. Yeah, a common theme from the previous players that have come in here over the week, they say that if you impress a training under Mick, you will get a chance. Is that your, your priority you now this week? Uh, yeah, you know, I think every player that's coming to the squad kind of looks at it thinking, I have a chance of playing, you know, and uh, I had a few chances of playing for Mick, and now hopefully I'll, uh, I'll get the chance to do that here. Cheers. Alan, um, just wondering how the injury that you've had to deal with, do you feel like you're mentally stronger now as a player? Oh, yeah, without doubt. You know, what you go through, I you know Seamus has gone through the same thing. Like two years of it. The one thing I always said is that I got plenty of time with my family, you know. Um, uh, so, you know, I think they're sick of seeing me now at the minute. So, uh, yeah, I've got through it. You know, you take tackles, take everything. You always think, am I going to get back to it? And, you know, it took me probably about six or seven games at Ipswich to realise I'm going to get back to this, you know. So, yeah, you do have mental challenges, but... Yeah, I'm loving every minute at the moment. I know your manager, Paul Lambert, was eager to get the club to give you a new contract. Has that been sorted out? Yeah, we're in the middle of talking at the moment. You know, obviously, I don't really want to be playing League One, but if you ask me, am I happy? Yeah, I'm extremely happy there. You know, I love the place there. The people, Mick told me that I would when I, when I first spoke to him about going there. So for me, at this moment in time, it's about I've had enough time not playing. You know, if I have to have a year in League One, you know, get back up straight away. I'll look at that, but I'm extremely happy there at Ipswich. Mick, compared you to Wes Hulan, or he said that it's the you're the closest thing we have to a Wes Hulan now. Is that a fair comparison? Um, well, we're both small, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> um, no, I'll just say is that yeah, we're similar players. You know, um, it's good to be compared to Wes. Um, he, we might say we're a little different in certain things, but if I can do anything to what Wes did when he played for Ireland, you know, I'll be, I'll be delighted. And I'm at a similar age where he kind of kicked when he started coming in, you know, playing a lot more games. So, yeah, I look forward to if I get the chance to play a few games, see what I can do. And Matt, just on the um, the talk of there could be a flat back four played by Mick McCarthy on Saturday. If you were to play in that system, is your preference then to play as a right midfielder as opposed to playing at right back? Um, oh, look, look I'm, the position I play club level I'm doing both now so I'll, I'll be comfortable to do both um, at the end of the day I am probably a full back so um, that would be my, my main position but um, no, I have no I have no issues playing further up the field I love to go forward um, so it would be uh, I'd be comfortable I would guess that Mick would also be you know, eager to encourage you to get into the box and to try and get chances and try and take shots at goal as well yeah yeah definitely um, I mean it's obviously well documented there's been a lack of goals lately so stuff like that it would be no problem to get in the back post to have shots at goal nobody's going to nobody's going to give out to you for trying to score goals um, so yeah stuff like that is kind of standard As if you're playing on the right hand side you need to be getting in at the back post you need to be chipping in with goals um, and fortunately I have that kind of thing in me where I'm able to be on the, at the right place at the right time and, and put the ball in the net sometimes is that something you've worked on and improved on yourself or has your manager Nuno, has he been a big part in, in developing you over the last couple of seasons? Yeah, a huge part in developing me now. I've improved immensely since since when he took over at the start of last season. Um, but I mean, in terms of in terms of going forward and, and getting goals, it's just kind of your instinct at the time. Nobody can really coach you to where to go. At, um, I mean, there's been goals scored this season where I've just somehow sneaked in at the back post um, that's not him necessarily telling me to do that. It's just me having a gut feeling and thinking, oh, maybe something will come here. Um, I don't think you can coach people to, to score goals, but you can obviously you can obviously make them think about it and think what what positions might be best or where the ball might drop. And um, and that's what I did. And, and some, unfortunately, and the balls dropped for me a few times. I just ask you as well. The obviously as a championship team coming up into the Premier League for your first season, you know naturally you, you'll tell everybody you're ready for that level. But there must be doubts there. But when you're in the position you're in now. And to have knocked Manchester United out of the cup at the weekend, like how does that feel? Yeah, it was a pretty special evening. To be honest, the whole atmosphere—I don't know if, if you've seen it on TV—it was uh, it was just a great night for the club. A lot of us had family, all of our families there, and um, 
we obviously backed ourselves going into the game. I mean, our record against the top six teams is obviously is obviously pretty good. And then um, we were at, we were at home and we were at Molyneux, so we we actually expected to win the game. Um, and fortunately, we did win the game. Now we've got a big semi final to to look forward to, and and we'll expect to win that as well. Can you win the cup? Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, obviously, I know Man City are still in are still in there, but we've managed to avoid them, and I know they'll be favourites. But um, we've we've drawn with them this season. I know they beat us at, at the Etihad. But I mean, in the final, it's a 50-50 one-off. Um, anything's possible, and obviously, we've got a good team. So uh, yeah, we've, we're capable of doing it. Thanks, that's Matt Mick joked the other day that none of you would be old enough to remember him playing for Ireland, and very few would remember him being manager of Ireland. What, what can you tell the lads about his character and the, the way he works? Yeah, well, I think he's a very good man manager. Firstly. Um, from my time at, at Wolves when I was there, he kind of nurtured me and kind of took care of me when I was in a in a few sticky situations. Um, so his man management is obviously obviously good. He's got TC with him, who him and TC do a lot of the co- coaching on the pitch. Um, and and already you can see even in the little bits of training, he knows exactly exactly what he wants us to do. Um, we haven't done huge shape sessions but even the little things we might stop and just little pointers here or there um, the next few days we'll probably get more more over his more of an idea of what he wants um, but the main thing I'd say is just a great great man manager and, I mean we see him as a as a gruff Yorkshireman with his own quirky sense of humour is that is that how he comes over on the training pitch as well yeah like you can see that he wants to get invo- wants to get involved with the uh, the kind of banter between the lads he's, he's quite funny at times so yeah none of, none of that has changed he hasn't lost any of his sense of humour or anything always trying to always looking to be involved in some way and, and that's good you need to have a manager who's kind of friends with you in a way in terms of uh, getting involved but then at the end of the day you respect him because he's your manager he's got the he's got the right blend there how important are these first two games in the in the context of the campaign as a whole? I mean, vitally important. I mean, you need to get off to a you need to get off to a good start for for us and for, for obviously the manager. We need to we need to beat Gibraltar obviously on Saturday. Um, I mean, if you were to slip up there, that wouldn't be that wouldn't be good. And then obviously the home game against George, which would be a little bit more difficult because they're quite technically good um, and better than people might think uh, might think so. Um, the first two games. Um, I mean, could make all the, all the difference in the whole thing. So it's massively important. And just briefly going back to Wolves, you said you came you came up with a lot of confidence and momentum, but have you exceeded your own expectations this season? Um, I would say I would say no because I could I saw what the team was capable of last year. I know it was um, a different league, but I knew we had the we I knew we had the foundations and the base for for a good season. We knew we had the players. I know we started off the season a little bit nervously where we couldn't quite quite uh, couldn't quite get to it, sorry. And um but the more you played the more comfortable we got and then you got a couple of wins and then you start to believe that you belong at the level. And then from there I mean I mean there was still a period in the season where we had five losses in a row. Um and we're still we're still seventh at the moment so um no like I guess a lot of people might think we're we've overachieved but I don't I don't think we have. Um, ordinarily, it would be a straight shootout for yourself and Seamus, but has he spoken to you about his lack of form or the fact that you're probably ahead of him on form? Seamus. Has he been helpful? Uh, no, we've not. Like We've obviously spoke a lot, but we've not spoke about um, for, form or anything like that. We just speak about normal football things. And uh, no, it's not a case of, uh, oh, you're, I'm playing, how are you playing? How was your game on Saturday? Did, did I play better than you or anything like that? No. It's just, uh, I mean, we're quite friendly, so it was just general football talk. And um, the, I think the stats in the Premier League say that Connor Cody passing to you and I think Ruben Neves passing to you are two of the most successful passes in the Premier League. What's the reason for that? Is that you find space or is that a, a certain tactic deployed by Wolves? Uh, it's just kind of the way we play. I mean, we're looking to switch the ball a lot, all the time. Um, the range of passing is obviously unbelievable. Probably second... I mean, the top two in the in the league, maybe this, so far, obviously, like you just said, um, and it's accurate as well. It's not just as if they're getting me and I'm stretching. Or I'm, it's always in front of me. It's always where it needs to be. Um, so it's just uh, yeah, the way we play is a lot of switches. Um, once we circulate the ball around to one side, we're trying to try and obviously get it to come back out the other side as quick as we can. And the fact that I'm playing right wing back and out wide on my own, I do get a lot of space. So. Um, yeah, it just it works for us at the moment. I mean, teams did try and figure us out at one point, um, and then we kind of changed to 
three midfielders and then the problem started to happen again for the, for the other teams and that's working for us at the moment. Do you think it could be slightly frustrating not having as much space international football wise and especially if you're playing on the right? No, no, I don't think so. I mean, like I said earlier, if that's the way it is, I'm going to have to adapt. I mean, if I want to be successful, I can't just expect to everywhere I go to be like be like Wolves. It's just not going to be the case. Um, I'm just going to have to get used to what my role is here or whatever the role is and, and try and play as well as I can in that role and, um, and, and do the best for Ireland. Matt, you mentioned the manager. Is there anything else, do you think, behind why you personally are having such a good season? Um, oh, I just think that I'm good enough. Um, I guess at the start, I, I didn't start the season too well. Um, I've got myself a lot fitter, which probably helps also. Um, than, than, like, even fitter than last season, and even though I was pretty fit last season. Um, so now I just think that I've been able to, to adapt and confidence is, is everything. I'm super confident at the moment. Every time I go out and play, I, I feel great when I'm playing. Um, obviously, I know at times that changes during the season. But right now, I mean, I'm probably never playing better than I am now. And my confidence is, is sky high. So I say confidence has a lot to do with it. That it kind of never really left me. The number of assists and goals, is that something that you are pleasantly surprised by? Um, yeah, no, actually, no, I don't know what I said yet. Um, I, sh I, I should have had a few more, actually, because I've missed, I've missed a lot of, not easy chances, but very, very good chances. Um, and there was times where I probably should have set somebody up or where I misplaced or got blocked. So um, the stats could actually be better than what they are, but I mean, I'm not going to complain at how they are. I've, I think I've got in all competitions six goals, seven assists. So, um, yeah, look, that's 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 pretty good. I can't really sniff at that. Uh, sorry, Alan. Um, I know, obviously, the loss of Callum O'Dowd and Alan Brown, um, they're both big losses. But as players who are kind of similar, I suppose, um, in a sense, to your position, is that something you look at as a chance for yourself maybe to step in there? Uh, yeah, you know, I do. I do prefer that playing as a number 10, you know, if I do get chosen out, win, out wide, anything like that, I don't mind. It's, if I play minutes, that's what I'm happy about. Manager asks me to do something, I do it to the best that I can. And uh, But yeah, I do look at it, you know, everybody, as I said, looks at the squad and thinks, I have an opportunity of playing, so and if that comes my way, hopefully I'll take it. Thank you. Thanks, lads.